All right, so My Hero Ultra Impact has gotten a data download. So let's jump into it here. As you can see from the thumbnail and from the screen image that we see here, we have a new Momo, which is the cheerleading Momo. So everything is from that little cheerleading section of the anime. I believe it was season two or something. Uh, so that's pretty cool here. It is a start of a new generation. We might start seeing more costume type characters for Ultra Impact. And um, we also have the plus ultra animation for the Momo. So we'll have a look at that. Here we go. Let's see if it looks any good. All right. So it is Momo's traditional cannons. Every Momo, I think, has a cannon plus ultra. And not, it's pretty cool. It's whatever. It, it's nothing too spectacular. It's got that Momo thing. And, um, you know, in her outfit, of course, that's what everybody... I'm not going to say anything about the appearance of Momo there, but um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this Momo in some way or another. All right, so not only that, we have the Ochako SR, which is a summonable unit as well. This will be the farmable uh, event store kind of thing instead of the lottery event, so there will not be a free-to-play unit. But... Um, yeah, we have the Achako here. We also have the details for said characters, which we'll go into a bit. Now, we do have a new VE tower coming out at the end of the month. So, I think it's like 23rd, 24th or something like that when the new VE tower drops and it will be the Mirio boss here. And we do have the knowledge of the boosted characters. We also have the new UR memory that will come out with the Momo, as well as the new summonable memory as well. And then this is going to be the free-to-play memory, the cheerleading squad here. Now, not only that, we are going to be getting some new free-to-play stuff. So, free-to-play players, you are also getting some cool stuff other than the new event. It looks like we're getting a new UR memory as well as a new USJ memory. So, new VE tower memory, new USJ memory, which is cool. And then this is the recruit banner image. And um, with the new VE tower comes a new VE tower boosted banner which has All Might as well as Mirio. So those are two boosted characters that we are going to be expecting, as well as a new sales pack. Uh, we do have the final character of the boosted VE Tower, which is going to be Izor. So these three characters are going to be boosted for extra bonuses. In I, I don't know what the boost is going to be. It could be HP, it could be critical, anything like that. But if you have these characters, it's going to help you out with completing the new VE Tower that will come out. Now, we're going to go into the details of everything here. We have a lot to go through. So thank you, Hydros, for the uh, website, myherouai.com. Make sure you check that out if you want more details on other characters. Let's go into the big character itself, Momo here. Oh, I'm so excited because I haven't seen it yet. Deal 650% damage to a single opponent gives all allies, excluding characters, the ability to make a last stand. Also increases power of all allies, excluding character by 20%. Very interesting. I'm not sure if I like it yet, um, but we'll see what her skills are like. 350% damage to a single opponent also increases characters plus ultra gauge by 30%. Also increases skill impact of all allies, excluding character by 35% for three turns. This is a kind of a big, big support right there. Plus ultra gauge, skill impact, pretty deadly right there. And then she has a heal ability, restoring HP of 30%. Also reduces damage taken by all allies by 30%. Okay. So this looks like to be a mixture of like Todoroki as well as uh, Nejri. This is actually a pretty big deal. Uh, we'll see what it's like in PvP though. Uh, I think this is going to be really good. Uh, just because... But the problem is... I will say is that because it's in the heal ability, if you want to do it first turn on uh, PvP, you are going to be wasting the heal ability. So this really, it's a little bit awkward. This could, this is great for VE Tower regardless, but um, PvP, I'm just looking at it in a like a situation where you're faster. You're going to be wasting that 30% unless you do it turn two, which means you do take a big chunk of damage, but it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see what her auto skills are like. Increases max HP of all red type characters by 25%, which is a good stat to increase. And an auto skill to increase characters plus ultra gauge when the battle starts. Also, once per battle, regenerates HP of all allies by 20% for three turns when HP is 50% or below. So I guess with this, you can, you know, make it so that you can use this ability on the second turn. 
However, do keep in mind that um, she will use this skill first. It Well, when defending, she will use this skill first. And then this will proc already, which means you're going to be risking a plus ultra on turn two, okay? So defending units or defending, it can be a bit of an issue, okay? But uh, if you're using this as an attacking, I think it would be just fine for PvP, especially as a healer. Healing is very important. I don't think she's better than Nejri because Nejri does get the plus ultra gauge and the lowering power, but the damage taken by all allies by 30% is kind of nasty. All right, so let's go into the SR Chaco. She has a shortened action skill cooldown of all allies, including herself by one with a plus ultra. Her action skill one when HP is 50% or higher, increased power of all allies. Very interesting. This is a technical hit and a nice little support when HP is 50% or blue, increases power of all allies, excluding character by 40%. So yes, the lower the HP, the better. The support also increases plus ultra gauge of all allies, excluding character by 40%, which is a quite a bit. This action skill 2 gives all allies a barrier that nullifies one hit, also increases characters plus ultra gauge. Wow. These sort of SRs are getting better and better as the days go by. And also increases skill impact of all allies by 25%. What the frick? That is actually an OP ability for auto skill. And an auto skill 2, once per battle when HP is 50% or less, gives character a barrier that nullifies two hits, increases their plus ultra gauge. So she gives a lot of barrier. As a cheerleader, should, it's all just a bunch of supports, which is nice. This is definitely better than, I think, the uh, USJ Yellow Chakra. Although she doesn't heal, the nullification, the plus ultra gauge, the power increase is so significant that um, it's pretty nice. It's really good. All right, so now let's look at the memories. This is the UR memory from the new summonable banner that will come out. All of this, by the way, will be released on the 12th or the 13th, one of those two days, depending on your time zone. Max HP when equipped to a UA student also shortens the action skill cooldown by one every three turns up to three times. Uh, so this will be great for, I guess, turn four, five cooldown units. So this could be interesting. I think this is great for um, people with high crit rate and uh, have high skill cooldowns for VE Tower, essentially. Like, I can think of one unit being Froppy, which would be really good for this. Next up, we have the uh, SR memory that is summonable. Increase the power of all allies by 10% if there are any 1A characters on the team. If equipped by a 1A character, increases characters plus ultra gauge. Nice little support there. Because it's an SR, not the most valuable, but, like, it's a pretty nice power buff. And it's very easy condition. So, if you are struggling on power, then this could be a nice memory to get. It is a summonable one, though, so... You might not be able to get, like, the full buff. Like, you need a limit break for, obviously. And then we have the farmable one, which increases character's power by 25% when equipped to a 1A student. If equipped to a male character, regenerates HP by 15% for three turns when battle starts, which is not a bad memory again. Um, again, it's an SR memory, so you can't really say much about that. Now, the final two are the UR memories from VE Tower and USJ. This one's from the USJ one, increases character skill impact by 45% when equipped by a hero. Also, once per battle gives character the ability to evade two times when defense is decreased. Wow. Okay, so this could be an interesting memory to equip with um, in PvP because you get the guaranteed dodges. Uh, if you're not worried about too much speed, this is good counter to purple Bakugo, blue Bakugo, a lot of those defense lowering kind of characters which is pretty good and it gives you like a really strong boost as well and then the uh, ve tower one is a increased plus ultra move skill impact by 25 percent following a successful skill chain up to four times so this is a technical hit memory also increases characters max hp if there are any villains on the team this is a pretty good memory as well very easy restriction and um good for ve tower essentially if you need that technical hit bonus. Doesn't give crit rate or anything like that, but still pretty decent. So um, I'm liking that and very good art as well. That's going to wrap it up for the new URs in the data mine. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Very excited. Uh, this could lead to beach units. 
um, you know, lunar year m units, Christmas units, and everything like that. So this could be the right step towards the Ultra Impact lifespan. We shall see. Uh, this is very interesting, though. I do want to say that we're having another red unit instead of a blue unit. So now, since Global released, we have not gotten a blue unit yet. I was expecting Eater to be the next unit, but very interestingly enough, it is going to be another red unit. But regardless, I think it is a great addition to the red typing, as you can see here. Um, there is just no healer or kind of like a support other than Kirishima for the red typing. They're mostly just damaging units or, you know pvp v tower unit so we're getting more supports which is great for all these different typings which is good let me know if you're going to be summoning for momo as per usual i'll go for five multis and then leave it be because i don't know if it's it's weird that she's going to be like a general unit she's like the odd one out but it's whatever uh anyway if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss out on the daily content check out my social medias linked in the description with that said i'll see you guys in the next one stay healthy stay safe stay fizzy peace out